Good morning, Meredith. There's an envelope today with an incomplete address on it. It only says Mickey and June, Lake Campground, Providence Oaks. Do you think you can find that? Yeah, I think I know where that is. All right. Have a great day. Thanks. Oh, by the way, Frank, I wanted to ask you something. I will not babysit Mildred's cats. <laughs> no, it's about something else. What's in those envelopes for you? Oh, that's just for stamps. Saves them the hassle of driving up here. Hey, I gotta get back to work. Catch you later. Morning, P.O. How about a pet peeve to start the weekend? Or will it be a positive? Dina Banks has the answer. P.O. Positive or pet peeve? Oh, hello. How's the photography coming along? My photography quest has been completed. Here's your equipment back. Okay, then. Let me see if I can manage to develop them. Come back tomorrow for the results. Thank you. See you tomorrow. heavier than I thought. All right, I'll leave it on the doorstep. Hey Lori, 
Did you watch The Love Bug? Hey, Miss W. Yes, I did, and I guess I liked it. You don't have to hide it from me, Lori. You can say you loved it. I guess it wasn't bad. It was really fun, actually. See? Ancient isn't all bad. You still ready for Sunday? I have never been more ready. It's going to be rad. Yeah, totally tubular, right? Uh, sure, Miss W. See you Sunday. Hi, Angie. Oh, hey. So, hey, I dropped off and picked up those movies. Right, right. She seemed positive. I think this might actually work. Hmm, well, it better. It will. I'm sure it will. I'm sorry, it's just that business is slow and... Well, I don't really want to talk about it. Could you just pick up the two new movies and deliver them, please? Hmm, Jaws and The Dirty Dozen. I'm on it. Don't you worry your pretty little head about it. Mm-hmm. Great. Thanks. I appreciate it. Bye. Mr. Mackey, I've got this movie box for you. Leave it on the porch of the cabin, could you? I need to know if you prefer a war movie or a shark movie. Huh? Movies? Uh, just pick something. I'm sure it'll be fine. All right. Jaws it is. Have a nice day.
What on earth do these folks order? Nope, no answer. Please, no. Make it stop. Maybe it's good news this time. Thanks, Meredith. Let's see if my day will be ruined. Oh, it's just a dentist appointment. <laughs> that might ruin your day, too. <laughs> yeah. This gives me a bit more peace of mind to work on my wildcard plan. Wild card plan? Wild card plan. Yes. Also, highly confidential. Okay. Good luck with that. Thanks. I remember Dad telling me, Meredith, the picnic area is for the older kids. I think I was 17 when I had my first actual picnic here. It rained. Hello there. Hey, how are you? I may have mail for you. Is it addressed to Mickey or June? Or both? To both. Here you go. Oh, sweet brother Damien, savior in the hour of darkness. Never mind him. He's a bit stressed out. We were a bit low on paper. Nice to meet you. What's your name? I'm Meredith. Nice to meet you too. Woo! Toilet paper? Probably a bit of cash and some rolling paper. Ah, that kind of paper. <laughs> no harm in that. Amen, sister. Thanks for the delivery. You're welcome. Nice RV, by the way. Is it yours? Oh, thanks. Yeah, it's awesome. We borrowed it. Joan! Can you get in here, please? Now? Oh, that's my cue. It was nice meeting you, sweet Meredith.
Can you, like, not tell the authorities your whole life story? It's me, Kay. <laughs> wow, I just like instantly dialed your parents' number. Superpowers! <laughs> Probably just muscle memory or something like that, right? Or maybe it's like that thing where you smell something and it instantly triggers this mega old memory you didn't even know you had. You know what I mean? Oh man, I had that once when Barry bought me lilacs and the smell instantly mentally teleported me to when I was like six years old and fell out of a tree. And I ended up with all this lilac smelling tree gunk all over my face. You remember that, right? What if it's like that with old phone numbers? You go, must dial M, and then your brain just triggers your fingers to dial? Man. Anyway, I uh, didn't call about that, obviously. I was thinking of maybe taking a stroll around the lake this Sunday, clear my head, and then Maureen suggested maybe you'd like to tag along. Not that I'm asking because of Maureen, of course. Just thought it might be fun to check out the old hangouts and the lake sites and all. If you do want to join, I'll be at the watchtower overlooking the lake at 11 a.m. Sunday. I'll probably hang around a bit, so I'll see you when I see you. Sunday morning watchtower. Be there or be square. <laughs> The Countess and the Carpenter. Chapter 2. Cecilia hated old Mr. Nabenshoe's table manners. The way he slurped rhubarb into his digestive system was quite the dampener on Cecilia's appetite. She wanted to get out of here and drink and dance with the common folk. Every night, she heard their merry noises travel through her bedroom window. The sounds of real life. Hello? You're speaking to Monster Deal Central. How may I help you? Hey, Steve. You're in a good mood? Meredith, please tell me to calm down. We are so close to a deal. Add it 87 in shops all across America. M -m 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 monster Deal. Oh, wow. That is so awesome. Tell me more. Okay, okay. I met up with this big retailer, right? They read our great pitch. They loved it, and they want to buy 250,000 copies of Added 87. 250,000. Multiply that by, like, 35 bucks. What? That's millions of dollars of revenue! m, -m, -m millions and, and it's just the start. Listen, I've got the contract right here. I'm sending over a copy. You should have it tomorrow. Please, please, check, check, double check, check it right away. I want your blessings before I sign on the dotted line, okay? Gotcha, Steve. Don't worry about it. Awesome. I'll be in touch again Tuesday evening. I'm so excited, and I just can't hide it. It's official. I love horror movies. A Nightmare on Elm Street is radical. It was amazing! Thank you for watching with me, Miss W. 
You're welcome. I'm never going to sleep again. Ha! Huh, maybe you shouldn't have watched the movie. Man, I wish my parents would let me watch these movies. I can't wait until I move out. Yeah, oh well. I hope you had fun. Yeah, I did. Maybe it's about time I convince my parents that I'm old enough. I'm almost an adult, and I don't want to wait until I've moved out until I can watch another horror movie. Don't worry. We can always do this again sometime. Yeah, I had fun. I hope you did too. For sure. Maybe we can visit Angie's store and find a new movie to watch. Oh, uh, yeah, totally. Good night, Miss W. Oh, Steve's parcel. And another note from Tess. Hey, Em, here are Steve's contracts. I bet you're in the mood for some light reading. And now without sarcasm, really, I must admit the energy here is contagious. Is Adit actually going to take off? See you soon. Tess. Good morning, Miss Weiss. Uh, good morning, sir. I didn't see you there. The name's Walter Morgan. I'm with the Postal Service. I left you a message on your answering machine earlier this week. Ah, uh, yes, I remember. Miss Weiss, if you could follow me into the office, I'd like to ask you a few questions. Are you familiar with the Postal Service policies? Um... Yes, well, the gist of it. Can you remember the segment from Chapter 11, Section 3, First Paragraph? Ah, yes, Chapter 11. Riveting stuff. It says in Chapter 11, Section 3, First Paragraph, and I'll paraphrase, it is forbidden to use Postal Service property for personal gain. Yes, very bad. Not good. Not good at all. Miss Weiss, I'm aware that you've only just begun working here, but I trust that you do not take the responsibilities of a postal worker lightly. No, of course. I mean, uh, yes, sir. The Postal Service puts its employees under the highest level of scrutiny. I advise you to answer the following three questions truthfully. A yes or no will suffice. Do you know Frank Coleman? Yes. Have you ever given him envelopes or received envelopes from him that weren't postmarked? No. Are you aware that Frank Coleman wages bets on baseball games? Yes. That will be all. Thank you for your cooperation. You're welcome. Top of the morning, P.O. Complaints in Monday mornings. The perfect combo. P.O. Positive for that key. Take it away, Bert. I managed to get the machine to work. Here are the pictures. Thank you. I'm happy with how they turned out. Apparently, they're running a photography competition to promote the new photo labs. If you're interested in entering, you can pick out one of your pictures. Oh, that sounds like fun. I'd like to participate. Well, just pick one and submit it. But I wouldn't get my hopes up if I were you. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Put it in this envelope and write your name and address on the back.
there, Meredith. I suppose you've come to pick up that VCR thing you dropped off earlier. The movie box? Yes. Did you watch it? Yeah, I did. I did. It took some figuring out how to hook it up to my old TV set, but I got it to work. Good watch. Shark looked a bit fake, though. Glad you liked it. Not my cup of tea, to be honest. So anyway, Angie over at the Flick Shack hopes this entices you to visit. Yeah, I thought so. Maybe I'll drop in one day. Well, you gotta get it back to work. Hey, here's the package. Thanks. See you around. Hey, here's your movie box back. Oh, thanks so much, babe. Listen, I owe you an apology. Apology? For what? I was Kurt. Just plain Kurt. And here you are delivering movies for me. You deserve better. Apology accepted. Let's move on. So, any idea what caused it? Business is slow. More than slow. I mean, the Flick Shack is in real trouble. That movie box kind of was my last-ditch marketing effort. Nothing's worked so far. I'm sure it'll be fine. Chin up. Anyway, enough whining. Let me make up for my stupid behavior and reward you for your diligent movie fairying, my lady. Reward me? Yep. I've got... Ta-da! Coupons! They're one of the few perks this job has. I get to take myself and a plus one to a free movie of my choice at the new cinema in Astoria. Valid tonight only. What? You mean like a date? Oh, you post people in your labels. But hey, if you want to call it that, sure. So what'll it be, Missy? You in or you out? <laughs> I'd love to. I'm in. Great. Pick you up at your place at eight. I know where you live. <laughs> anyway, gotta get back to it. Bye. Bye. Interesting.
No answer. Hello? Sir? It's the mail. Excuse me, what's this all about? It's all about the mail. I'd appreciate it if parcels are not just dumped on the counter. I'd appreciate it if you'd act like a human being. You'd understand if you had any idea about what I'm trying to do here. Setting up a computer system to handle all the bookings is quite sophisticated. Okay. I'll be on my way then. Sweet Meredith. Hi there. Here's the mail. Thanks. On your own today? Sorta. Mickey's in the RV. He hardly slept last night. Said he had hallucinations of rotten fish in the RV. Yikes. I oh, guess bad trips happen. Well, actually, when I went outside this morning, there was this huge rotting lake trout right below our window. Totally grossed me out. How does something like that end up there? Ew, disgusting. I may have... Oh, hold on. Mickey's got to read this. Mickey! Wake up, honey! Leave me alone. I'm still shit-faced. It's a letter from Damien. Oh, right. Yeah, okay. Give me that. Looks like we won't be here much longer. Oh, really? Where are you going? We're going to Canada. We will be picked up this Thursday, early in the morning. 
What about the RV? Joan? Are you running your mouth again? I'm sorry, sweet Meredith. Gotta go. Hey, you know what? You should come by Wednesday. Our last night here. We'll build a campfire, have a drink, maybe a puff or two. You know. And talk about the meaning of life, of course. The complete outdoors experience. Oh, cool. Yeah, why not? Joan! Awesome! Gotta run. See you Wednesday after sundown. Hello? Hey, Meredith. How was your day at the office? Uh, I mean, mail truck. Oh, hey, Dad. Actually, it did start at the office. I was being interrogated. Interrogated? What? By whom? Walter Morgan, a higher up from the Post Service. He started asking questions about code of conduct and about Frank. Uh, Morgan, that walking corpse. He's always after Frank. What did you say? Nothing, basically. That's my girl. They'll never catch Frank anyways. He's always one step ahead of them. Listen, Mom's poking me. I guess we're not allowed to talk about work. Uh, here she comes. Bye, Meredith. Hi, Meredith. Was Dad trying to get work stories out of you? Hi, Mom. Yep, he tried. And he succeeded. It was a weird day. Well, I'm changing the subject right now. Have you met the new guy at the hotel yet, Matt? Yeah, I met him the other day. He's, uh, a unique character. Unique? <laughs> I guess that's one way to put it. He's one of the reasons why I won't miss working at the hotel. Anyway, how's life in good old P.O.? Not very eventful. After work, I watch TV and read books. Oh, honey, you should get out more. There must be something else to do besides that. Yeah, Mom, I know. I'll try. Okay, dear. I just want what's best for you. I know, Mom, but I'm all grown up. And now I'm changing the subject. How are you guys doing over there? Oh, Florida is fantastic. I think I might actually want to live here. The warmth of the sun, it's very easy to get used to. No, oh, Dad is telling me to get back. Looks like the bar's open. Wonder what he's ordering this time. I'll get an Alabama Slammer. <laughs> Alabama what? Alabama Slammers! Cheers! This is fun! It's been ages since I've been to the movies. Well, they call it the movies, plural. But of course, we can only see one movie at a time. So, which one will it be? You pick. You're the expert. That's exactly why I want you to choose. The choice of innocent eyes. All right. Let's see. Big Trouble in Little China, Blue Velvet, or The Great Mouse Detective. All right. I'm ready to pick. Blue Velvet. Good choice. This is going to be... interesting. <laughs> I mean, I'm kind of speechless. And that's rare for me. It certainly was something. I loved it. And I never want to see it ever again. <laughs> yeah, that about covers it. It's certainly singular. At one point, I did begin to wonder, do you think Providence Oaks has a seedy underbelly? Don't think so. Haven't found any ears lying around during my rounds. <laughs> well, give it time. So anyway, 
My parents' house is right down this road, as you well know. Yeah, let's move! <sighs> I wish I loved anything half as much as you love movies. Next time, we'll do something in your area of expertise. What, computer software? Yeah, we can build a killer robot or something. I like the sound of next time, by the way. <laughs> Oops, what a slip of the tongue. So, here we are. Now what? Well, we could have a cup of tea at my place. I would like that. I think we know what that creepy Frank Booth character would be thinking right about now.